Hi, this is Jason with Dave's Computer Tips with another how-to video for you. This one's on how to add audio to video using Filmora 10 or X, whichever you want to call it, Roman numeral, you know. So I'm going to show you actually how to add audio to your video project. So if you have music you want to put underneath your video or you want to put put like a sound effect, like an explosion or something under in your video somewhere, this is going to show you how you can add audio to your video itself. So before we get going, uh, please hit the like button on this video. It really helps out our channel. And please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new how-to videos. Okay, let's get into it. So we need to open up our Filmora software. If you don't have it, it is a great software. I'll, I'll plug it because I love it. And they're not paying me for it. So trust me, I love this software. So if you get it, go to Filmora, uh, Wondershare Filmora. Google it on Google it and you'll find it. And actually it's for a lifetime membership. It cost me, I think 70 bucks. And that means I get all the upgrades. So every time they upgrade it, I get it. So I don't have to repay for it. And yes, there is in, in the, they give you a lot of stuff with it and you can buy more stuff with it. That's fine. Cause it's how they make their money, but it's worth it. Even for the base, the one you get, the one you pay for, you get so much out of it. It's, it's worth it. Trust me. So now that we all know that's there, most of you probably already have it. So we want to open up our Filmora video project now. So we're going to get out of here. We're going to go over to our Wondershare to the left here on mine. Double click on my icon so I can open it up. And it's going to pop up here. And we're going to, we're going to uh, open a project that we have. Or you can open a new project. Either way, I want to show you how this works. So I'm going to open a previous project I was working on earlier today. So I can show you how to add the audio to the video. So it's almost loaded and we'll go in here. So I'm going to pick my DCT temp 2021 20, and double click on that. So you can do it on the project library. It'll show up here if you've been working on it recently, or you can add a new project or open a project from your files on your computer. I'm going to do this because it's we we'll already have it ready. I ignore that because it's just a template one I'm using. Okay. Now we're in our video. Now let's say, so you see, I have my, this is my voice, obviously, because I was talking over this because I was telling you how to do something. And that's where I was doing this, how to enable an on-screen keyboard I did a video on. And then what I want to do is I want to add new audio. Now, Filmora comes with his own audio. So if you go to the top left, you'll see media and then audio. I'm going to show you how to do their audio first. Then I'll show you how to get some off your computer. So first, we're going to click on their audio link. And now they give you free ones so you can pick out of their many, 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 many things. So you got rock, you, they break it up for you. Um, sound effects, which I was talking about, like a camera snap, digital alert. So if we want to add those like atomic bomb, there we go. That's a perfect one. So if I want to add that to the video, make sure your player line is where it needs to be. So like say you want the explosion to be this part of the video. So make sure you drag this. And the way I'm dragging is I'm once I once it turns to a pointer, you want to hold down the left mouse button and then just drag it to anywhere you want. So once I do that, I'm going to stop right here. And then you can go up here and hit the plus and it'll put it right there. Um, but I'm going to actually just drag and drop it. So let's hit the plus first. I'll show you how that works. See, it drops it down to the audio line and that's now there. So this is going to make an explosion sound when it goes through. Now I'm going to undo that. So I'm going to go to the edit at the top and hit undo. And then I want to, you can also left click on it, hold the left click button down on your mouse and drag it to any place on it you want. So you really don't even have to move the player line. You can just move this boom. I want it there. Or you do it again, hold down the left click and drag it to wherever you want. Very simple. I love that it makes it that easy on this software. So you can put the sound effect anywhere you want on the line. So that's how you add it through their audio. So that's how they that's how you add their audio to your to your project so that's very simple now the audio is always fun you can you can if you get right there see how it has the two arrows you can drag it but it can't get bigger because that's as long as it is you can make it smaller by holding the left mouse and dragging it back and forth to make it longer or shorter it only has so much you know sound so it only gives you this much so if you wanted to have multiples you could drag another one down here put it next to it so you can have the explosion happen again and again and again. So that's kind of fun to do. So you can mess with that. The volume, if you get your mouse hovered over that line right there, you can hold down the left, closes the fist. You can drag the sound level up and down to make it louder or softer. It's very cool. So that's kind of, that's, that's quick ways to um, mess with the audio you're working with. 
Now, if you want to add audio from your computer itself, that's a little different. You want to go back to the top and look to the media folder, which is right here to the top left. You're going to click on that. Now, you're going to look for your own media. So what you want to do is you want to go to import this one. You're going to put your mouse right on top of the, the down arrow and then click left click once. And then you're going to go to import media files and you click on that. And that's going to open up your uh, file search on your computer. So you're going to find the audio you want. I'm going to go to the place I know where my audio is hiding. It's going to be in here. I'm going to go under, I think this is where I want to go. No, that's not it. Back up. So we're going to go right in here and I'll go find some audio somewhere in here. Where am I looking guys? There it is. I knew it was hiding somewhere. So let's look for some audio. So audio, audio, audio. Let's go with this. And we're going to pick one of these. So MP3s is what we're looking for. So you're looking for an MP3 file. Obviously I don't know where my MP3 file is. So we're going to go to my, my download area where I know there's MP3 files. Let's go with, let's grab someone's MP3 file. That's a WAV file. We can use WAV files also. So it doesn't have to just be an MP3 file, which is a bonus. So we're going to do this and we're going to pause for a moment. Okay. Once you find the MP3 or the audio file you want, um, click on it once it will pop into your file name and then click open down here at the right. So when you click on it, boom, now it loads it into your um, project. So it's going to be in this area. So you're going to scroll down because usually it puts it on the bottom. There it is that right there. So now you can do it the same way you did before. You can drag it. This is a big file. I forgot how big this thing was. Um, I shoved the other ones down the end. Um, so that's kind of puts it here. And now this kind of gives me an option to show you how this works. So if you wanted to shorten the file sound. So if you wanted only part of the music you were going to use, you can do that. You can enlarge it again to its maximum wherever it is. And that's really nice. You can check the volume by grabbing this with the left mouse button and then dragging it up and down. I do that sometimes when my sound is too low. It's really helpful. Um, also, just like I said before, you can hit the plus sign on the on it to add the audio. Just but it will it will it will actually be added in the spot that your player line is right here is. So wherever it is, that's where it's gonna drop it. So that's the reason I like the drag and drop feature because I really like to just drop it in and not have to grab that all the time when I'm trying to put it in my audio. So that's how you actually add audio to it from your computer. So it's really easy. So just make sure you have the audio file on your system or on the USB you have connected or uh, external hard drive. You can grab it off that, put it in here, and you can just mess with all the audio. So you up and down. There's a lot of little features you can do, but that's how you add audio to your Filmora video project. And this is in Wondershare Filmora 10 or X, whichever you like to call it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, this is um, very, very cool software. So check it out. Have any questions, leave it down below in the comments. Um, please let, share this with other people. We love it because it helps us out a lot. So there you go. Almost forgot, make sure you save when you're done. That's kind of the most important thing to do. Whenever I do a project, I don't, you don't want to leave. And then you're like, oops, didn't do that right. So make sure you go up and save your project because all that work you did, you probably edited the audio and that's just the way you wanted it. You put in the spot you wanted it, but make sure you go up here and say, save your project. Cause if you don't save it, you're not going to have it. So I just wanted to make sure I said that before I left. So save project. We're going to save as some other name if you want to save it as a different file. So make sure you hit save. I'm going to hit save. That way I don't lose my work. And that's what you do. Make sure to check out davescomputertips.com uh, where all, all our articles are. And make sure to subscribe to this channel. And thanks for watching.